situation, but rather an experiment in subconscious influence. Okay. So in order to do this, actually, I have here four uh, heavy-duty professional tack guns. Uh, and show, and this to show you that they are completely empty. Okay. We can just do this. And actually, I have you take one, and you can just fire it into the air. Don't point it towards yourself. Of course, just like this. Just take. There we go, okay. Yeah, okay. And then we can take the other one and do the same thing. Okay. Let's fire it. Here they are, fully really functional. Now these are, as I said, these are heavy duty professional tack guns. These are used by people in the building and construction trades to basically, uh, you might say, shoot uh, nails and uh, heavy duty staples into different types of building material, particularly the densest of building materials. They're actually capable of firing uh, a nail or a staple at up to, ra up to velocities of 495.9 feet per second or 151.1 meters per second, which needless to say is, is enough to go through the hardest of building materials. At the same time, of course, they can pierce flesh and crack bone, just like a hot knife through butter. But of course, you get the idea. Yes. Okay, so Henry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm just going to open it up. Okay, and, just, and in this little can here, I have clips of 40 heavy duty stainless steel staples. Would you care to take one of the clips out, please? Sure. Any one you want. Okay, you want to take that one? And we're going to load it into the gun. Okay, it's being loaded right, in there, yeah, right? There's yeah. nothing up my sleeves nope. or nope. anything to that effect. Nope. Okay, so this gun is a loaded one. So we know for sure that number one is loaded, number two, three, and four are not loaded, not loaded correct? Right. Yeah. All right, so that's a good thing. Now, I'm just going to get you, Harry, to turn your back from the table, and I'm going to actually mix the guns up here. I thought that was coming. done is we've thoroughly mixed up the guns. Now it would be fair, it could turn back around. So it would be fair to say that only I know which gun is a loaded gun. True. Is that correct? And you have absolutely no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to influence your subconscious so that you do not pick the loaded gun. Actually okay. it's in my interest of my own safety. Okay. Because I'm going to be the guinea pig here. Okay. okay. So what I'm just going to ask you to do is look into my eyes for a few moments. That's good. Now, Harry, under Occupational Health and Safety Act regulations, you can't operate these without proper eyewear to protect your eyes. So I'm just going to ask you to put these on. These are brand spanking new. We'll just put them on and you can still see. Oh, perfectly. Good. Okay. So Harry, what I want you to do is, as you can see, they are numbered one, two, three, and four. Fair mm -hmm. enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have no idea which one is the loaded one. The biggest two. Okay. What I'm going to do is take my, turn my back to the table here. And what I want you to do is, in your mind, I want you to go through the numbers 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then when I say stop, I want you to stop on that number, or if you're sort of in between numbers, go to the very next number. Okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, start now, in your mind. Harry, stop. Okay, you've got that number, right? I do. Okay, I'm going to turn my back towards the table because I do not want to look at the table. Go and pick up the gun that corresponds to that number, please, and bring it towards me. You're asking me to... No. No. Bring it over. Yes. Bring it over to me. You have to bring it to me. Okay, so this is, this is, this is, this is the gun that you picked up. Yes. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is, okay, I'm going to use my hand. Thank God for that. On the count of three, I want you to pull the trigger. One, two, three. Okay, that's very good. And this was gun number one, wasn't it? Yes. All right, thought so. All right, so which leaves us now with uh, guns two, three, and four. Harry, what I want you to do now is I want you to picture in your mind a neon sign. And on that neon sign is a number two, three, or four. Do you right. see what number it is? Don't tell me. Two. 
I do. Harry, I want you to go and pick up the gun. I'm going to turn my back to the table. Pick up the gun that corresponds to that number and bring it to me. Okay. So this is this is the gun that you chose to pick up, yes. correct? Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to put it to my cheek, right here. Oh, come and on, on the count of three, you're going to pull the trigger. One, two, three. Okay, very good. And Harry, you this was number two, wasn't it? Yes, sir. yes, oh, very good. So Harry, now we're down to guns three and four. So now what I want you to do is I want you to think about these numbers, three and four, but here's the thing. When you decide on the number, you cannot change your mind. You must promise me you will not change your mind. Okay? It's very important. I have a vested interest in this. Yes, I know. Okay, so when you close your eye, close your eyes, and picture the numbers three and four, and when you settle on the number, I just want you to raise your hand, but keep your eyes closed. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Okay, Harry, would you go and pick up that gun then? Open your eyes and pick up that gun and bring it towards me. Okay. So this is, this is the gun that you decide that you're yes. going to pick? Okay. You didn't change your mind? No. Okay, Harry, put it to my neck, and on the count of three, would you pull the trigger, please? On the count of three. Ready? One. Okay, just like that. Straight to the camera. hit. Okay? Just like that. One, two, three. That was number four, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Phew. Thank goodness. Well, Harry, you did an exceptionally good job. And as a matter of fact, this was the loaded gun. And to prove that it was loaded, if this was my neck or my hand or my face, let's just see here. Loaded gun. Let's do this like this. Don't want to staple my, my leg to the wood here. See, it's actually so strong, it's actually going through the paper. It's actually putting them through the paper. Oh, God. I want to get it so that actually we get the staple in there. Oh, geez. This is the, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's actually through the paper. It's yeah. put it through the yeah. paper. It hasn't even, yeah. but actually to prove that there are actually staples in there. Yes. Right? Hold out your hands. Don't worry, I'm not going to fire it into you. Let's set this down, is there? Okay. You did exceptionally well. Thank you.